So if you want a DJ on laptop free gear, this is a Pioneer XDJ RX, so you could be using the RX2 or the RR, or you could be using Denon's MCX8000 or its SC5000 or the CDJs or even XDJ media players in the DJ booth, any of that stuff, you're gonna need a USB drive to put your music on and DJ from, right? But a lot of DJs don't give that the thought that it really deserves. So in this short video, I'm gonna to talk to you about the three things you want to know with one extra tip for USB drives. And at the end, I'll give you my recommendation if you just wanna know the right one to go for. Okay, so the first thing you don't wanna do is use the crappy generic ones that you get at trade fairs or that your company maybe gives out to clients or whatever, the kind of branded corporate ones. They're gonna be made to a budget, they're gonna be crap, and you're better than that. Use a professional device. The three things you're looking for when you're buying that device are number one, capacity. 64 gigabytes is about the sweet spot in 2018. There's some kind of rule in computing that says memory halves every 10 years or two years or something. But right now, 64 gigabytes, uh, you, you can get a drive with that amount of capacity on it, which will store an awful lot of music for not an awful lot of money. Uh, above that, it starts to get very expensive. So 64 gigabytes is a minimum. Secondly, you wanna go for USB 3.0, that's the current standard. 2.0 was the generic old standard. They're backwardly compatible, so your 3.0 USB uh, drive will work with 2.0 gear, which is just as well, because most DJ gear nowadays uh, in the pro booths, like the Pioneer gear, only uses 2.0. So you're not gonna get any big speed bump by having a 3.0 drive, but you're future-proofing yourself and the loading of music from your laptop, which will be 3.0 compatible onto a 3.0 drive will be a lot faster. So first, 64 gigabytes. Secondly, go for USB 3.0. But thirdly, and probably most importantly, it's gotta be well made, it's gotta be durable. The DJ booth is an extreme environment. You're gonna put that thing through hell even if you don't intend on doing so. And the last thing you want is it to let you down. So you really do have to go for something durable. Now your extra tip, comes to formatting your drive. When you plug your drive into a computer and it says, do you wanna format this in your disk utility, maybe you're formatting an old drive or reformatting uh, one you've got, whatever, you're gonna be offered different choices. And to cut to the chase, you wanna choose FAT32, F-A-T-32. That will make your drive compatible with the biggest amount of equipment with the least potential problems. Okay. I promised you a recommendation at the end. My recommendation is the little Corsair Stealth Survivor USB. This thing is pretty much bulletproof. It comes with a very fine thread which holds this in a cocoon, keeping it nice and safe from water, probably fire and bombs uh, and everything else. Uh, once it's screwed in there, your music really is safe. And it's also got rubber rings here and here, which again, protect it from accidentally dropping it and it having a, a, you know, a jar. You know, it'll just take some of the, uh, dampen some of the force if you do accidentally drop this. It's got a key ring loop here as well. I see more of these than every other type of USB added up in DJ Booth. So if you just want the one suggestion, go for a 64 gigabytes Corsair Flash Stealth Survivor drive and you ain't gonna go wrong. Okay, so that's the Digital DJ Tips look at choosing USBs for DJing with. If you've enjoyed this, please do share, please like, please follow, uh, and I'll see you again very soon. Meanwhile, get good, get out there, and make the moments.